Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. My sister Sarah Hi, is here. And thank you so much, first of all, to watch our videos. And thank you so much for all the nice comments uh, on our entire bags collection, Sarah's bag collection. That was such an amazing collection. And although that was a long video, but everybody seems enjoyed it. So uh, a lot of people said, Amy, you should do one too. I'm debating whether I need to order the storage out of the, you know, the, the, the cubby hole to display on my bags or um you know i'm still debating so i don't know still her, thinking process still thinking because currently um i put all my handbags in the uh, glass display case so i don't know but i'll certainly will uh, make a video uh regardless so but today's video sarah is here and uh, she bring she brought her beautiful jumbo chanel jumbo size and we are going to do a comparison of the uh, medium large and jumbo and we're going to show you guys what fits uh, on these bags and we also want to talk about whether it's still worth buying chanel or not so sarah what do you think i mean the price keep increase and we just uh, is the is chanel price already increased oh yeah the price was in increased on january the 15th okay so it's been increased for a little while but since there were already several adjustments in year 2020 and now it's only beginning of 2021 and again another adjustment and for all the chanel lovers we are like oh my it's it's the price you feel like it's you can how do you describe it's just like it's already a lot of money but it's just getting more and more prices higher and higher and is there any a like a stopping point for us not to buy or continue to buy regardless and i hear you guys out because um some of my subscribers and some of the comment in the comment section uh said that uh well, if Chanel keep the price keep going up, I might just go for a mess. But I have different opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, even the price is getting really close to a mess price point. However, how many different styles of a mess um, out Offer, there, right? offering out there? I mean, the most famous is Kelly, Bergen, uh, Evelyn, oh, and Constance. Uh, Constance and uh, her bags and um, the uh, uh, Pickerton and the Lindy's and bag. Lindy's so all these uh, different styles I think they have less than 10 am I correct all the styles all together right they don't have a array of a different handbags so it's really for the style wise it's very limited exactly they don't have a variety uh, whether you know, Chanel has the classic flap. Even with the classic flap, they have different sizes. Has jumbo, has maxi, has medium size, and has the uh, jumbo, yes. maxi jumbo, and large, the medium large, right? right? And the most affordable and most, uh, I think, the best buy of Chanel is the Coco handle. So the Coco handle have different sizes as well as mini, as small, as medium, has. I don't know if they have, they have large, like an like actual mini or yes, mini. Right. And also have Trendy CC and also have Gabrielle and also have backpack oh, yeah, oh, and oh. also have toe bag. So the styles of Chanel offering is just, it's just variety. It really has a lot of different styles. So uh, if you decided to move uh, up to Hermes, um, my question is, what style? How many Bergens you're gonna get? How many Kelly you're gonna get? How many Constance you're gonna get? You're gonna get in different colors, but it's all in the same style. Right. So that's my concern. So I am not ready to move to uh, Hermes yet, uh, but uh, would I still continue buying Chanel? Absolutely. My answer is yes. Yes, and for all our Chanel lovers, I guess regardless the price increase, if you love it, you will still buy it. Of course, maybe you will think, oh man, it's really expensive. It's so high, the price is high. But you, no matter what, you will still kind of conquer yourself 
just want to buy it. You probably will buy less. For example, if you plan to buy three per year, you probably will just get one or two. two. Right. So, but for me, uh, you know what? It really depends because like the Chanel Coco handle, I definitely go all you know, all in to purchase a brand new one. But if for a classic flap uh, or for, uh, well, this one is brand new and I, you know, got a brand new. However, you guys all know I have two Gabrielle, one in large size, one in small size. Both uh, were pre-loved. So yesterday, last night, I was looking at, uh, you know, browsing through Fashion File and I noticed all the pre-loved market for Chanel price way up so so if this is something yeah you the price want, has gone up too. yeah so if this is something you are considered buying and you have a wish list you know my suggestion is you rather buy now than later because even the pre-love market prices keep going up and up and up so it is ridiculous or you always have another option is just buying probably the condition like good or a little vintage and you can always send it to our good friend the leather surgeon and give it a makeover and you still will have a beautiful Chanel bag in your collection so that's my suggestion right I think everybody have a different opinion like I said the Chanel lover will still keep buying buying regardless the price increase although we don't like that but it is what it is you like it you want to buy it I mean just like Amy said you know if your goal is buy three or four a year maybe you down to less maybe just buy one or two but anyway let's go ahead and start making a comparison exactly. of what jumbo will fit and what the regular uh, medium and the large will fit in my jumbo this is the double flap in and yeah. the uh, medium large is double flat as well and both are caviar leather and both are go hardware right mine is more of the champagne i mean like oh, the champagne, champagne yeah and mine is the go hardware right and these two currently how much is it do you have i believe it? the jumbo right now is the price is u.s price 7400 and the uh, median large i think it's a 6800 oh my god i remember when i first got this was 50, 56 56 or 58 but that was like two years two ago. two years ago right. so yeah so even though for the pre low market it's probably like in 4,000, 4,500 or, higher. or even higher based on the condition uh, but let's just see what this jumbo double flat will fit okay so i'm going to put it My pen, I always carry a pen, will fit. So that's so everything. That's everything. You I can't I, probably I, even put a phone right, here, I believe right? I can put in my phone and then I may still put some like hair tie or some small item. And then that's, I want to say it's, right now it's like 80% full. Yeah. Yeah. And it, you, you don't want to stuff it because it's going to end up like very You don't want to stuff it. Now you can put, put a the phone, phone yeah, actually. Put, yeah, or you want to put in the front. Yeah. Yeah. That will fit. And then, voila. Voila. 2.07, 2 pound and 7 ounces. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. this handbag is without anything is 2 pounds. All right. So now I'm going to weight this medium and large. So uh, let's see how heavy is this handbag. How heavy? 1.09. So one pound and nine, nine ounces. ounces, okay? So this is definitely half of the uh, weight of the jumbo. So uh, it's really important. Are you able to wear this handbag all day long when you're out shopping or you will settle with a smaller handbag like this? Yeah. Yeah. You can even fit an iPad. So, so yeah. yeah, so yeah, this is very good. So you can fit an iPad. It's, I have an iPad like this. So this is wonderful. All right, so we move on to the medium and large, which is this bag right here. We're going to put in everything. And if we, it's possible. If it's possible. I think it's possible. I really think it's possible. Because earlier, you can still put more into your jumbo, but you really don't want to, you know? I doubt. I yeah, really, you should be yeah, able to. I, I, yeah. I doubt you I can think you have can. everything. Art holder and uh, 
Let's see. In your phone, though. You haven't no. even put in your phone. Yeah, it's not going to do it. So we will put a picture of what can fit in the uh, we'll jungle the... and how much it weighs. Okay. 2.07 2 pound and 7 ounces so basically you put in like a one pound of uh, stuff in this right. bag so, so really the capacity level so now think about it once this bag have everything was four pound and 14 ounces and this one was two pound and seven ounces so equivalently is a half right and then I wouldn't want to haul this handbag all day long and even though without anything, like any heavy items, this handbag still two pounds. Like, oh my goodness, it's like a, on that, your shoulder. And if in the summertime, you're going to dig into your shoulder. That's why a lot of people saying or even review the bag saying, well, the jumbo with the double flap is too heavy. It's hurting the shoulder, this and that. But for me, I never have any problem. But of course, I do have the jumbo single flap and I do see the single flap, the capacity is even more. If it's even, you can even move, put more content compared with the jumbo double. I think the single flap, number one, the advantage of that is it's lighter because one's one. right one without the double so it's, it's, the light is lighter and for the capacity level you can put more stuff so i do i mean i do both appreciate both but the jumbo with double flap and the jumbo with single flap it's just different but then there are people say the double flap you can hold structure stru shape right the shape or make it the structures better and see with this one this is the diana bag i got it from fashion file uh two years ago and you guys will not believe how much I got it for. But anyway, uh, this is limb skin and I sent it because the condition when I first got it, it w wasn't good. So I sent it to leather surgeon and they fix it up. So it looks really, really, um, you know, decent condition. And uh, because this is limb skin, so you can see the structure, you know, you can see the side has these creases. So, however, I just love the look of the lamb skin because it just looks, see the chain strap is brand new as well. And the turn lock is brand new because the original um, turn lock was broken. And the original turn lock is supposed to be two tone, but this is just one tone. And I just absolutely, and this is also double flap. And you can see all the creases here because this is vintage. But, you know, I didn't really, I haven't really used this bag much, but when I look at it, I just love beige. And however, I love beige is a beautiful beige, color. Beige, beautiful. Any beige Chanel is just beautiful. So if you are looking for a classic flap, which one? Are you the team medium large or the team jumbo? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the price, how may, how much difference? The price 68 and 74 so 6800 and 7400 so we're talking about 600 dollar differences us dollar okay all right and then sometimes you'll say that oh for 500 600 dollars more i'm gonna get a bigger bag i have that thinking when you know i was you know looking deciding which size however the most important thing is really based on your body frame, your lifestyle, to see what kind of handbag is suitable for you. If without anything, Jumbo is like two pounds. Already. Uh, I, I really don't know. I mean, I think the look, probably the Jumbo look better. However, this is more a practical bag for the medium and large size. So uh, I would love to hear from you. Comment below. Let us know which one you're linked towards to medium and large or the Jumbo. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell so you don't miss out any of the video like this if you love all things luxury. Thank you once again and we will see you guys in our next one. Bye-bye.